welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Morell and I'm a personal stylist for the everyday woman. So this week's video is a bit of a vlog really of what I have worn personally all week long. So I'm expecting you'll probably see me in early morning gym wear, running out to collect the kids through to clothes that I wore for meetings and everything else in between really. We've got a really really varied week so I'm hoping there's going to be something in there for everyone but you never know how the week pans out. But the week has certainly started very good because Look what arrived today. My favourite packages to arrive. As you all know, I love Monica Vinader and these items have been gifted to me. I've already put some on, but I just thought I would show you for those who don't know how gorgeous their packaging is as well. They come in these gorgeous little boxes with the nice little envelopes and yeah, it's just all beautiful stuff. That one there is going to be absolutely perfect. I'll no doubt wear it sort of on and off all week, so I'll show you properly. But that would be fantastic for anybody that's got a larger bust because I went for the longest length in the necklace to split this bust area up. But as you probably already know, all of the stuff is beautiful. It's all 100% recycled gold and silver and they only use ethically sourced gemstones and pearls. I've got some lovely pearl earrings. I'll show you those as well. But for now, have a look at those. They are really, really beautiful. Let me just take one out. Sorry, I planned on sort of opening them up on film, but I just, I couldn't um, wait, <laughs> in all honesty. So they are gorgeous. And when I opened them up, I thought, oh, they look quite nice and special for a night out. But actually, I think you could easily wear those in the daytime as well, when you don't want all the necklaces going on and everything, and just the earrings really stand out. So they're beautiful. And then the bracelets that they've sent me that is a round flat bangle which is really easy to put on and off it's got a different class than usual and this one here is magnetic so you know usually I have to use my tool which is this I will link that because it is amazing it's like a couple of pounds on Amazon and it allows you to hold the one end of your bracelet like that in your hand and then wrap it around and then clip it on but with this one it's magnetic so you don't need that tool at all you see the, the magnets just bring the two ends together really easily you don't need husband around to help you with that and it's a gorgeous link effect as well I usually stack my bracelets as well so I might go for one finer one a thicker one and then maybe a chain one as well and then just show you these close up again before I start to wear them every day. I've got, I've got such chunky fingers, I'm sorry. I do not make a good hand model for Monica Vinader. So maybe I'll put some pictures up at the side of me with somebody with beautiful hands so you can really get to see what they look like. So a little signet ring, lovely. You know when you don't want too much jewellery going on, I would just put a signet ring and one necklace, for example. Oh, these are Monica Vinader, but they are a little bit older but still available so I will link that as well and that one is really nice as well I find with a bigger chunkier one like that my fingers look less chunky and more in proportion so I'll no doubt be wearing this jewellery all week but at least now you have seen it up and close to the camera so I don't need to do that but I'll link everything as normal so for the month of February 23, we have a 25% discount code and thereafter it will revert back to the 20%. You need to use code MVMelissaM. This code is also linked in the description box. Okay, so starting off with today's outfit then, I have got, I'll stay close to you for a second. So this is a H&M blouse. Now I'm wearing it in a size small, but I think it's actually a little bit too big for me here. I'm wearing a blouse like this to balance out my hips. If you've got big boobs, you want to wear a blouse like that, especially because it's got this lovely open neck. So the open neck is going to reduce your boobs here and the frills on the shoulder here are going to make your boobs look small 
smaller because they're going to stick out further than your chest will. But in my case, they aren't actually quite sitting on my shoulder. Can you see they're starting to go off my shoulder, which is probably going to make me look too broad. So I would be swapping this blouse for the extra small and I'm usually a size eight to 10. So if that helps guide anybody. And I have just got them on with my big flared long jeans. These are mother jeans. I will link them. And yeah, I'm wearing double denim. Now, <laughs> I know a lot of you won't like double denim. So I have worn this shirt with various other things, some really nice me and M trousers. So I'll put in a picture of that now. But a shirt like this goes really, really lovely with virtually everything being denim. You don't have to double denim it. And another thing to point out on this shirt is that it's actually long sleeved. Let me take that off for you which is nice for putting under a jumper and then curling the sleeves up. But I felt that on me, maybe because generally speaking, it's a little bit too big, it looked a little bit overwhelming and you needed to see the flesh there of my wrists. But you know when it's too tight on your forearm so you can't do it up there? All I do is get these little translucent bands. Mine are from Primark. You get a pack for a pound and you get, there must be, 200 or 500 in there something like that I've had the pack probably a year or so and all I'm doing is putting that band on here and that will stay in place all day long and then I'm just using that to put the sleeve wherever I want it and then showing that flesh there is going to make it look less overwhelming for me. Another way you can wear this is to put it over a jumper. There we go, all I've done is layer up a jumper. I've got this jumper in green, I've shown it before. Um, I will link them both, but I'll put a picture up of the green one as well. But the red one looks super nice too. And a little trick for you, when you've got a shirt like this, which is quite stiff, under a jumper that's quite thick or thin actually and you find that you feel a bit bulky underneath because the shirt is sticking out what I do is I put a vest on top of the shirt that makes the shirt lie really flat and then you feel a lot more slender when wearing a chunkier shirt so that's me for the day that's how i'm going to do some of my zoom calls today so the little details like that is quite nice for a zoom so is that i've put my hair up just so it shows off the nice earrings and i did feel that with my hair down the earrings on this collar in the neck and this button was all too much so all i've done is pop the hair back and that strips it back a little bit and i'm good for the day so hopefully i will see you tomorrow Okay, so today's outfit is a recycle of yesterday, I think it was, I wore this shirt. But this time I've put them with just a coated ankle grazer jean trousers. I've had them years, but I will try and find something very similar for you. But I've put my loafers on today. These are the, I never know how you say it, Vivaya, Vivaya. They're the knitted ones. Honest to God, they are so comfy. And it's meant to be, it's pretty early in the morning here right now, so it's still a little bit dull, but it's meant to be a nicer, quite mild spring day. So can you see here, I've got what we call my friend. So we've got two items of the same color that I'm going to wear together. So in my teaching school, that's how we teach it. It's called Everyone Needs a Friend. So for example, if I get rid of that bag for a minute, you know, that outfit looks absolutely fine by itself because the shoes are sort of a similar tone to my skin. So that's not too bad. But when we do add that basket in, it just brings the outfit together. And that's all you're looking to do. And it only has to be two pieces of the same or similar tone to bring that outfit. It doesn't mean that I need to have two pieces of blue or two pieces of black. It's just one of the colours needs to be repeated twice in your outfit. So yeah, really simple. I hope the weather turns um, a little bit better because I'm off to run a few errands and then I will be back later because I've got a, a bit of a fancier do to go to later on. So I will show you what I choose to wear to that. Okay, so dressing for my age probably is the best way to describe this outfit and very on brand, I think. Oh, talking about on brand. Come here then, come on, here he comes. Here you go. Oh. 
Sorry, he's been fast asleep and has chosen this moment to get up. Come on, Mons, up there so I can show everybody my outfit. Go, come. Good boy. Sorry, as I was saying. So it's actually a very on-brand outfit here. And I make that point because I do a lot of photo shoots for people for brand work. And this sort of peachy pinky colour is a little bit my colour on my website. And what I'm about to do is go to a corporate event where I'm hosting a styling event for all the workers, basically. So it's all about knowing your audience in terms of dressing for a certain event like this, but also to convey a brand message for my own personal branding. But I also need to put some quite neutral on that is going to instill a level of confidence in the audience that they think oh yeah she's kind of knows what she's talking about style wise so you have to consider your appearance when you're doing something like that where you know me usually on the school run I'm just a leggings and converse type of girl but this is absolutely beautiful I have teamed it with three actually Monica Vinader bracelets. These are really gorgeous investment pieces and I've got the cross ring on and the bigger ring and this is where this heart necklace comes really into play because just having that little bit of gold on the white, see if I took that off there, it just helps finish the outfit off so which is why I went for the longer necklace because I've got many that end there but sometimes you want to split that colour up as well. So just to show you my earrings here these have become a firm favourite of mine when I just want to elevate an outfit up they drop beautifully but you can actually take that pearl off them as well so then you're just left with the hoop which means you can wear them in the daytime as well but they are really really lovely for elevating elevating an outfit like this up but you could really easily sort of wear all the top part but put with a pair of jeans and that will dress it down immensely. The trousers are absolutely beautiful but what I would say is that I'm currently wearing them in a size 10 and I've got a high heel on with them but they do feel a little bit baggy so had I have got time and not just trying this outfit on moments before I leave the house I would have probably tried the size 8 on as well so if that helps you judge and I'm five foot three and a bit and a UK size eight to ten usually but yeah they are coming in a little bit baggy but you can't see that because of the blazer anyway so it'll be fine for tonight. Okay so I'm just nipping back on here because what I realise is that those trousers are gorgeous but they do crease and I've got about a two hour drive ahead of me. So what I have just done is put my me and M side stripe trousers on with the canvas trainers i'll show a close-up of those i love the canvas trainers they're back in the store this year i got mine last year but this year they're doing them exactly the same so i'll put them on the board for you and when i turn up if anybody sees me getting out the car i look okay but what i've got on is a super comfy jogger and that's what it's all about <laughs> comfort on the journey and then putting those trousers on last minute so i haven't got long so i've got to nip out but i will see you again in the morning okay so it's saturday afternoon i'm about to go to the cinema i don't think i've been to the cinema for about five six years something on those lines <laughs> But not only am I going to the cinema, I'm going with my girlfriends whilst the husbands watch rugby. We're going to go and watch Magic Mike. <gasps> Can't lie, I am very excited. So, in terms of what I've got on, it's not very exciting, I'm afraid. It's kind of my go-to outfit, to be honest with you, which is a navy pair of jogging pants and matching top. I'll link everything for you. And then this is a Reese coat that I got in the sale only recently, actually. It's a beautiful coat. It feels really, really lovely. And I just feel like, you know, I say it all the time, but I feel like a long coat like this just elevates the look up. Um, or you could have gone for a short coat, but knowing that I'm cold in the cinema, that will be my blanket to wrap around me. And then when I get to her house, I just look really casual basically, I'm not looking to dress up in any way but I do still keep all the jewellery on so I have got on the Monica Vinader pieces that I showed you at the start so I'm combining those two together 
I've got the little pinky, I really like that one, and that one on my middle finger. So yeah, super, super casual, got some Converse platforms on, I've got some little striped socks, and that's about it for today. So off to Magic Mike we go. Morning, so it's the night after Magic Mike. For those of you who want to know, the first dance was amazing, the last dance was amazing and everything else in between was really, really bad, really low budget. Um, but it was a fun afternoon out anyway. But back to work today, I'm actually heading to Bravissimo one of my favourite bra shops for my ladies who have got a larger chest and we're filming in there today for our new styling courses which we're la launching soon. There's two styling courses by the way, one is for those individuals just looking to improve their own style and then the second one is our professional course which we're taking online so that's how to learn how to do my job basically, how to become a personal stylist, all the tricks of the trade, but also the business side of things. So if anybody's interested, you can register your details at the address that I put down here and you'll get a bit of an early bird discount if you register interest before. But anyway, today's outfit. So I've gone for a Varley jumpsuit, an old Primark coat, and I want to show you how I was genuinely about to leave the house and that is one trainer on and a boot on. Probably just like you, I have those sort of indecisions in terms of what to wear in the morning. So I was clearly having a look in the mirror, seeing which one is better. And all of this week, because I've been filming this, what I wore in a week, I run over to my studio, put the camera on, start to film, and yeah, genuinely realise that I've got one of each on. So it shows that they're both comfy, which is great. <laughs> Um, I suppose for a colder day the boot would be better but then I could wear a sock anyway with the trainer so it doesn't matter so personal preference the one thing I would say is it is a little bit nippy out what I would do about that is I have just got a fur line gilet and I would sandwich that inside my coat and it'll just give me another layer a little gilet like that is really practical because when I am shopping in the shops then I can easily take that off if I get a little bit too hot but kind of walking around Going from the car park to the shops that gives me a little bit of an extra layer so yeah that's what I'm off to do today so you will no doubt see some of those clips of the bra fitting I'll put some on YouTube shorts for you and I'll put some on Instagram as well but the main film will be over on our styling course morning so back again start the day as I usually do which is Pilates I have a Pilates reformer machine by the way for those of you who've been asking on Instagram. Anyway, so I'm just wearing a, same as I always wear to be honest, um, a dark green matching set from Adenola. Um, I really like the Adenola wear. It's not overly expensive. It comes up really nice and high here and holds you in. And I've just paired it with an old, although they do still stock this, um, jumper from Varley. This is called the Vine Jumper. Every single season they bring it out in a slightly different design. Um, I love it because you can sort of put it off the shoulders like that a little bit. It looks quite nice. Or obviously put it up like this as well, which also looks very nice. The one thing I would say though, is when you have got a coat on, this collar doesn't sit that well. So I find it's great just for the extra layer, but not for putting on a coat. However, I will link it. They've now got the same jumper, but with a much smaller collar like that. So that collar sits much better if you want a layer under a coat. So. I'll link it on the board for you as always as well. If you've got a big tummy, that thick band really helps because it allows you to position it over the wider part of the tummy there and then tuck over. And the very nature of the tighter band here and the tuck over makes your waist look smaller around the edges. So I'm not sure if that comes across on camera, but um, yeah, trust me, it works for the ladies with a tummy. So back again, I, oh God, it's boring, I'm afraid, but I am about to just go to the post office and do the big run of returns because Joe is away skiing at the moment. And um, yeah, so very practical. I've just got a pair of H 
H&M jeans on. These jeans are actually really nice fitting if you're a little bit curvy and you want a nice ankle graze. The wash is a little bit light for me personally. I like a slightly darker wash just because it makes you look a little bit more slender. But in terms of the fit, they are really, really good. They're super high waisted. I've just got on a white t-shirt. Um, that's just my, actually that is a really, really good bag. That is uh mango i think but i will link it but a, a really great sort of cross body bag but if this one is a little bit pricier because it's leather but the uniglow one is really good i used it on body shape masterclass 12 on steph there and i know she uses it all the time and here i've just got on a really nice khaki shacket as they call it so it is quite a heavy one it's not a summer light fabric but I'm wearing it in a size extra small so it clearly and I've got a lot of room in it so it's clearly coming up very very big but I like it because it's got the splits up the side so that's going to help elongate your leg up there and normally I would put this like a white hoodie underneath it for a bit of warmth and then this just for a layer over it. Nearly forgot Air and Grace trainers. We're loving the Air and Grace trainers at the moment. They just seem super comfy. And they've got the A on the back there. We've got some coming that are blue, like the blue A on. They look really nice as well. So that's it for this morning. I'm online styling later on. So if I end up in something different, then I will come back on and show you that. Usually I get changed about a thousand times, but it depends if I've got time to pop okay so not exactly an outfit that i am wearing myself this week but one that i am trying on for a client so when i've got a big client and a concierge service the way in which i style is i try and everything on myself first of all um, it doesn't matter whether they are like you know a much bigger size or whatever i try the combinations on so that when we're actually at a client's house i don't waste time in putting wrong combinations together so that's what i am doing at the moment with this gorgeous little top it's from h&m it's quite voluminous as you can see and i'm just trying to work out whether it looks better with the sleeves down or sort of more three quarters. I could undo the button there and ruche them up quite a lot. I've got them on with a super high waisted jean. My client is actually really slender, so I'm sure she doesn't mind probably getting out her tummy, but I always need a backup in case that's not the case, because just because somebody's slender doesn't mean they suddenly want to flash all their body parts about so I would have a high waisted jean and a lower waisted jean and this jean in particular is sort of really quite tailored in terms of the darker fabric makes it look more dressy so it gives a really nice silhouette these are from Zara I think or maybe River Island but I will pin them for you anyway and what I'm about to do is change the jean up for a more casual style of jean and to see which one the top goes better with and there's the same top but with a much lighter colour jean so with a lighter colour jean you're going to get a more of a relaxed overall look than you are with the uh, darker slender more fitted look so and I don't know which way to, my clients want to go. So I'll take an example of both pairs with me, but I have to make sure that I've got those on the rail so that this top works in a couple of ways. Hello again. It is one of those days when one child has got to be in X place, the other one in Y place. Um, one is doing sports, one is doing haircuts. So I've kind of got to be a bit of every everywhere. I haven't had chance to do my Pilates this morning, but I'm still in my gym leggings. And I probably won't get a chance to do it for the rest of the day either, but I still wear gym leggings, even when I'm not actually in the gym, just because they're super comfy. And so I've just got on some dark green ones at the moment from Adenola. I have got some new trainers on, which I will show you a close up on. They are super comfy. These are really 
sort of trendy for um, the, this season. Everybody's trying to get their hands on these. I will link them, they are still available. Uh, so I'm usually a four to a four and a half and I've actually taken a size five in these. So if you're in between sizes, I'd say size up. Oh, and I've got on my Uniglow bag these I've also been really big on TikTok recently. They come in every single colour you can imagine. I've also got it in the beige. I've got the equivalent of this, but in a bigger one from Mango in the leather, which is really nice for sort of more elevated um, events and things like that. But running after the kids today, that is perfect size. You've got both hands free, fits in your purse and your wallet. And yeah, I just find that really, really comfy and easy to wear. So excuse the hair, I haven't done the hair today. Got to go now, but one thing I will say is that later on I am going out, but I plan on just swapping the leggings for a pair of jeans and given that my trainer's got a bit of green in, I've got a new Bowden jumper, so I might put that on as well. So I, if I have time, I'll hop on and show you that. So just to show you an extension of that outfit then. So I'm just off to meet a friend, but very casually, local garden center, quick coffee, nothing very fancy. I'll put my coat back on, which will give me a nice long line. But all I've done is put my jeans on. These are some H&M high-waisted mom jeans. I've got the jumper on from Bowdoin, which I think we showed in the workwear video. But it's little things again like the jewellery. So I've got the Monica Vinada 2 rings on again and a couple of her bracelets, which I think I showed earlier on. But it's the details like that that will upgrade your outfit a little bit as well. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you could press that subscribe button, I would be most grateful. I can't remember what we've got coming next week. In fact, we're filming for the Academy next week, so there probably won't be a video, but we will be posting on Instagram all the way through, all the behind the scenes of what's going on. And like I say, we've got 18 women of all different body shapes coming in to be assessed, to be dressed. So hopefully one of you will find one lady in there that you can relate to. So I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.